This video is partnered with Good Game Empire Team. To be one of the three winners in today's 25k Ruby giveaway, make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment below your server, the platform you use, your in-game name and finally your thoughts or any recommendations about Storm Island event. The results will be announced three days after publishing this video via community section. Good luck! Storm Islands is an event appears every month after a huge temp set took place in the Empire. After unlocking level 35, players join with their alliances the Storm Island event, competing on attacking storm forts and capturing resource islands to gain Equamarine. We can distinguish players into two parts, for beginners who find difficulty to fill their castles with decorations, they may have the chance to gain some great storm decorations from Luna's trade boat, but they are not the best, moving to advanced players they mainly join Strom Island event helping to boost alliance funds, gain some extra construction tokens, and trying to unlock Storm Island titles which is a good competitive advantage for them and their alliance members. If they had collected the most cargo points, personally I recommend the Strom Lord title, giving 20% more combat strength when attacking, and the voracious title, increasing food and mead production in all castles by 25%. While scrolling on the map, you may find 5 levels of storm forts, but it is recommended to attack only the 70 and 80 levels because they gave the highest aquamarine points, and if you pay attention, you will see that there are some storm forts colored darker than the other, but they are more rare to find on the map. Those ones, are the 70 and 80 levels, so that's an easy way to distinguish them from other storm forts, but there are two more divisions of these forts, actually, you will find storm forts with defensive troops more than 500, and some others with less than 80 troops, and to distinguish each one of them, you don't even need to spy, in fact the storm fort containing the lowest number of guards on it, it comes with with the highest number of defensive troops and vice versa. So, you just need to attack the storm forts with less defensive troops, if you want to economize losses. If Storm Island event is based on how much players gain Equamarine points, so you need to think about enhancing the loot capacity, you can achieve this by putting as much as possible troops when attacking using an equipment's having shield maiden units bonus in courtyard, a good commander with loot capacity bonus and, don't forget to activate the higher marauder. If you are an active player you can mark locations and appearance time of resource island and share it with your alliance members, because storm island event is based on teamwork, and keep in mind that there are two types of islands, both of them take 6 hour to be captured then it disappear but for the small island, it take 36 hour to reappear and 72 hour for the big ones.